Kit and Cats. So today we are here for a current favorites video. I put out a poll on Twitter this morning um, asking what y'all would rather see. And the vote was in favor of a current favorites video. So that's what we're here to talk about. Uh, I'm gonna do fitness favorites, beauty favorites, like lifestyle favorites, I guess you could call it. Let's get rolling. So the first one, um, I put it on my favorites list, but I accidentally left it at the gym because I use it there every day. So uh, the first thing on my favorites list is my Mark Bell Slingshot Hip Circle. Um, I had used the black one, I mean the blue one in the past, and then they were nice enough to send me one of the black ones. If you watched my glute workout video that I'll link down below, I had a couple questions on what the band was. So that is a Mark Bell Hip Circle. Um, I really like the black one that they sent me. Obviously the blue one was great, but the black one was a little bit less tense. It was a little bit less tight. So when I'm doing, you know, high rep banded glute work, I use this, you know, for glute activation, for warm ups, and then for high rep banded work in my workout. So I use it for a lot of different things, but it's a lot easier to use the black one with higher rep sets just because I get a full range of motion. It's not as tight, uh, so I can just do more with it. And um, the black one, they actually, I don't know if they redesigned it or if this was something special about the black one, but it does have grip on it on the inside so it doesn't slide around a lot. So that is the Mark Bell Slingshot Hip Circle. Um, next thing on the list from PE Science. So first thing is one that you guys have already seen, um, not in my videos, but uh, on Instagram. They came out with mango amino IV. So this is mango splash amino IV. I don't supplement with aminos very often, but I was so excited when they came out with mango because mango anything is my jam. Like, yeah, it's like mango margaritas, mango aminos, mango just all over, all over it with mango. Uh, so aminos are great for recovery, great for, they help with soreness a little bit, uh, muscle retention. I don't necessarily supplement daily with aminos uh, just because I do get, you know, a quality dose of protein at every meal throughout the day. Um, I do know some people that supplement with aminos every day, so it's kind of just personal preference, but the mango splash flavor is fire. And then the next thing from PE Sides is literally launching today. Um, and today is the 7th. Yeah, it's the 7th. Oh, because it's my one month anniversary from moving. Hey. But okay, so. PE Science reformulated Alphamine. Um, I'm so excited about this uh, because one, this flavor, Sunrise, it's orange, pineapple, banana. So first of all, like, y'all, this is a mixed drink with caffeine. Yes, yes, oh, it's so good. The flavor is so good. This is the Sunrise flavor. Um, but what I really love about the new formula of Alphamine is there's no longer Yohimbi in it. So. A lot of times what people use Yohimbi for is as a fat burner. Um, the thing with Yohimbi is one, it, it, various people react differently to Yohimbi and I have discovered that I do not react well to Yohimbi. Uh, Yohimbi, Yohimbi bark, Yohimbi bark extract, none of it. So for one, Yohimbi makes me retain water and two, um, I don't know what the dosing requirement is for Yohimbi but I kind of stray away from anything that has it in it due to the fact that Yohimbi is a common trigger for anxiety, especially in people that already have anxiety, which I do. So I just stay away from anything with Yohimbi in it. And I've been really sad because I'm like, oh, I love Alphamine, like I love the energy from it. But again, with water retention, with anxiety, like I just don't, I don't mess with Yohimbi. So when they came out with this new formula that did not have Yohimbi in it, I was like, praise Jesus, my prayers have been answered, yes. So this one no longer has Yohimbi in it. Um, it has 125 milligrams of caffeine per serving, and there are 84 servings in a container. So again, this is just launching today. This is the new formula. But yeah, so this is the new formula of Alphamine that I'm so excited about. It is amazing. The energy from Alphamine, it is not your typical jittery pre-workout. You don't feel like you're tweaking out when you take this pre-workout. It's just a nice, clear stream of focused energy, which is what, if I take a pre-workout, that's what I want. So before, uh, when I wasn't, when I stopped taking Alphamine, I would just, you know, add a little bit more coffee in the morning or I would take a caffeine pill or whatever. But now that I have Alphamine back, this with the Paradise Cooler High Volume, game over. Game over. 
shut it down. No pre-workout stack will ever be taken other than that ever again because it's life. And now that I've talked about that for two minutes, uh, <laughs> When it comes to PE science, anything, but especially this new alpha mean, you can use the code Emily. I just almost said MDUG. You can use the code Emily to save yourself 30% on PE science products. And then another thing with this launch, with my discount, you, I'm reading the email, uh, my discount code makes alpha mean and amino IV the same as the insider price as opposed to the full price. So definitely try and get your hands on that now. I would definitely recommend both the mango splash amino IV and the sunset, or is it sunrise, sunset? What all, all times of day, midday, who knows? Sunrise flavor of alphamine at insider price. So I would definitely recommend both of those. Next up on the favorites list. Okay, so you guys know Toffee Crunch Nuts and More is my hands down, holy grail, ride or die favorite peanut butter in existence. But this current favorite is the, ooh, is <laughs> the coconut peanut nuts and more peanut butter. Uh, the macros for 33 grams are 12 fat, nine carbs, and 12 protein. What I love about this, first of all, I love coconut. Some people are weird about coconut. I'm a ride or die coconut person. So especially in the summertime, which it is right now, summertime coconut is life. Coconut is life all the time, but especially in the summertime. So I would definitely recommend, even if you're not a coconut person, giving this a try. And pro tip from me, is if you take the coconut peanut butter and then you take the milk chocolate PE science protein, you make anything with it, you make like a belt sander brownie, you make pancakes, you make oatmeal, whatever, and then add this, the coconut peanut, it's like a Samoa, like a fit, mm, a fit person's Samoa, like a macro conscious Samoa. And I don't know about y'all, but I'm obsessed with the Samoas and the Girl Scouts are trying to kill us all, and I'm here to save you. That is what one woman is here for, is to save you from the Girl Scouts. <laughs> but the coconut peanut butter from Nuts and More is really, really solid, and I love their formula because unlike other high-protein peanut butters, it is very smooth, it's not grainy. Sometimes I like the grainier ones. Most of the time, I would rather be smooth or be chunky, like have nut pieces in it, but yeah. Coconut peanut butter from Nuts and More, Highly recommend. You can use the code, I believe it's mdunk or m, yeah, I'll, I'll put it on the screen. Um, and just for reference, all of the codes that I do have are always listed in the description box if you ever have a question. Um, but I will put my discount code for Nuts and More up here right now. <laughs> I'm such a goon. Next up on the favorites list is this dark chocolate sea salt power popcorn from Icon Meals. Um, I didn't really realize that this was a favorite until after Junior USA's Nick brought some of this with him and I literally like I started eating some of it on Sunday night and I just like kept eating it. I ate like half the bag. It's so freaking good. And I'd only had a little bit of it before and I was like, yeah, this is really good. But then after Junior USA's I was like, shut it down. Shut it down. Um, so yeah. This is the dark chocolate sea salt power popcorn. The peanut butter is really good as well. Um, I did get some of the banana split one, but I haven't tried it yet. Um, just to preface, I'm no longer affiliated with Icon Meals, so if you want to get a discount on this, I would recommend using Emily Hayden's code, EHFIT. I'll put that on the screen right here in order to get a discount. Um, but what really, part of why I wanted to include this in the favorites video today was actually the old formula. I don't know if they changed their formula or what, but the ingredients list is different. But on the old formula, they did have hydrogenated oils listed. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I don't know if this is a commonly known fact. Like, it's kind of common knowledge to me. Maybe that's because, like, I started in dietetics and they kind of, like, rammed this into our brains. But it did have hydrogenated oils listed as one of the ingredients. And while it said zero trans fat on the nutrition facts, uh, companies are allowed to put zero trans fat as long as it contains 0.5 grams of trans fat or less. So if you see anything, whether it be like this or you know margarines or peanut butter, like if you don't buy natural peanut butter, uh, they typically use hydrogenated oils. They do contain trace amounts of trans fats, which you know trace amounts of trans fats are not going to kill you, but if it's something that you're eating every single day, not the best thing for you. So what really stood out to me when I was rereading the ingredients list was there are no longer hydrogenated oils in the Power Popcorns. So, 10 points for Gryffindor, aka 10 points for Icon Meals for whatever formula change you did. I appreciate you. Um, I had to run upstairs and get it because I forgot to bring it down. But another favorite is this food scale. So I got a new food scale. It's a Tear Digital Kitchen Scale. Um, 
so if you're new to tracking macros or being mindful of your intake, one thing you will need is a food scale. Um, I really, really love this one. It's so sleek. Like, it's just so sleek looking. I love how there's all this space on top to like put stuff. Um, so with this one, I'll kind of put a little clip of it in action. But you have grams, you have milliliters, you have fluid ounces, you have ounces and pounds. Um, it has a tear feature on it. So yeah, that is the Vita Goods Tear Digital Kitchen Scale. I will put the link where you can get this. It's a Vanity Planet scale. I'll put the link in the description box and then the code macros gets you 50% off of this scale. So that's awesome and I will put those details in the description box below. My favorite, I guess this is like fitness related, my favorite YouTubers right now. So my favorite male YouTuber, I would have to say is Javon Alvin. He's one of the guys with Alphalete. I really enjoy watching his videos because he just has a contagious positive energy and that's something that I really like seeing from YouTubers. And also he makes really freaking good edits and I love that. Um, so that is Javon Alvin. And then my female favorite YouTuber for the month is my teammate, Taylor Chamberlain. Tay Che, if you don't follow her on Instagram or YouTube, um, I will link both of their YouTube channels in the description down below. But yeah, Taylor is actually one of my Tong Strong teammates. So that's really, really cool. But she's super adorable, she's so sweet. She posts a great variety of videos and yeah, I just really like her. And she's another person where I just really Really enjoy watching her like her personality captivates me her energy captivates me and that's what I'm looking for in youtubers the people that you know draw my attention and make me want to watch not just the content that they create but their personality so that is Javon and Taylor and next up moving on to some more I guess lifestyle type things uh, current favorite book is this book right here master oh, oh, oh. Mm, something just fell. Uh, is Mastering Your Mean Girl by Melissa Ambrosini. I found out about this book from listening to Madeline Moon's podcast. And I found out about Madeline Moon's podcast because Marissa Lace recommended it to me. And I listened to the episode with Melissa on it and she talked about her book. And I actually, I first downloaded it as an audiobook. And um, I listened to that actually at a really great time. I listened to that while I was moving on my drive to my move and like while I was setting everything up in my house and everything like that and it just really resonated with me it's basically it basically teaches you well I guess I'll read you the little thing um, the no BS guide to silencing your inner critic and becoming wildly wealthy fabulously healthy and bursting with love my favorite thing she talks about in this book is learning to choose love over fear um, learning how to look at your decisions that you're making and realize you know when you're making a choice out of fear when you're making one out of love and how to make more decisions how to stop listening to that little voice in your head that tells you you can't that fear voice and then listen to your love voice and make decisions out of love. So I absolutely love this book. Loved it so much that I bought a hard copy so that I could go back, reread it, highlight it and all of that good stuff. So that is Mastering Your Mean Girl by Melissa Ambrosini. Ooh. Next up, my favorite pastime right now. I know that's really random, but coloring. So when I moved here, I was like, I need to do something creative. I need to like get my brains working. My brains, clearly I need to get my brain working. Um, I need to do something just fun. And so I've seen a lot of people start the whole coloring thing, the adult coloring books trend. This is the mindfulness coloring book. And let me tell y'all, coloring has been the most calming thing to me recently. So yeah, I would recommend getting a coloring book. It's fun. We all need a little bit more fun in our lives, especially if you're feeling stressed out, if you're going through a transitioning per transitionary period in your life, or if you just need to like de-stress, color takes you back to your childhood. Um, okay, next up on the list is a beauty product. So this, I actually posted about this on Instagram this morning, uh, Skin Food Aubrey. You guys have seen me talk about her charcoal soap. That's my ride or die facial soap before um, in a previous favorites video, but this is her creamy vanilla hazelnut butter. Um, it's actually also infused with coffee oil and the smell. <sighs> Girls and guys, whatever, who you are, this. Um, so that is the body butter from Skin Food Aubrey. I used it today after my shower and it's so luxurious. Like I am a cloud of beauty and softness. Touch my skin, please. Um, just kidding, please don't. I don't like people touching me. Um, another thing that, I don't know if I mentioned this in my last favorites video where I talked about the soap, but all of her products are made with organic ingredients. They are non-GMO, they're handmade, they're cruelty free, they're natural, they're fair trade, like, girl yes and she's a local business back in ohio so i love supporting her i would love to get some of her products here in kentucky but that is the 
creamy vanilla hazelnut butter. It smells amazing. It feels amazing. And I am one of her ambassadors for 2016, so you can use the... So you can... I'm such a flop. You can use the code SKINFOODIEM to get some dollars off of your order. I don't remember the percent. I'm really bad at this. And my camera's about to overheat. <sighs> All right, so we're back. I think the camera has had a chance to chill a little bit, um, which is annoying because I only had like a couple things left. But anyway, so that is the Skin Food Aubrey stuff. Again, I'll pop my discount code up here. And then the last actual item that I have for you guys. This packaging is so shiny, you can't even tell what it is. But, oh my god, y'all, 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 <sighs> my heart. So, in case you guys didn't know, for one, I'm obsessed with Champagne Pop, the Becca and Jaclyn Hill uh, collaboration highlight, and then they decided that they were gonna do like a full collab, and my, like, my heart exploded. Like, it was a full on just wow. So, I did invest in the, what is this even called? the Champagne Collection Face Palette and the Champagne Collection Eye Palette. So that is the packaging and wha-bam, holy mother, oh my gosh. Okay, so the face palette has three blushes and two highlights. Uh, my current favorites from these palettes, I'm too scared to try this one because pink literally scares the absolute living daylights out of me. Um, my favorite is, I'm trying to cover this. My favorite is this Amaretto blush right here. It's just like a nice, like, peachy like not peachy but just just nice i'm wearing it right now is it nice it's nice it's very similar to the becca wild honey blush that i've used before at least in my opinion i love the color it's more of a natural color i don't like really really bright blushes i hate that um, but then i also do love the rose sprit rose spritz blush i just do a little bit of the rose spritz on top of the amaretto and then i was super excited about this guy right here so this right here is Champagne Pop, my like favorite all-time highlight ever. And then this is Prosecco Pop, the new guy, the new girl in town. Okay, so this Prosecco Pop, I'm wearing it right now. I will try and swatch it. I don't know how to swatch things. I'm not a makeup artist. Hold on. Can you see it? Kind of, maybe. It's on my face. Does it look good? I like it. So this one is more of, again, Champagne Pop is like a champagne -y color. Prosecco Pop is more of a gold highlight. So it's really great, especially right now in the summertime. You know, you're outside a little bit more, you're getting a little bit of color on your skin, you're a little bit more golden, and the golden highlight works perfectly with that. Really matches a nice tan and just... I'm looking at it right now and I'm just like... Shut it down. Shut it down. And then this is the eyeshadow palette. Um, it's so reflective, wow. Um, <sighs> this is the eyeshadow palette. Um, I'm currently wearing a few of these colors. I'm wearing, actually I'm wearing a lot of these. I'm wearing all of these colors. Um, so my favorite color I think besides, okay, this is Champagne Toast. It's like a bronzy, can you see it? I don't know, it's like a bronzy shimmery color. I will swatch it or try. If my camera would focus, it's right there. It's just a nice light bronzy shimmer. And then I really, really love this cognac color right here. That is what I use as my second crease color today. Um, and it's living. It's living so hard right now. And then this nice, this is just like a nice milk chocolatey brown Bordeaux right here. That's what's underneath my eye. I like using dark shadows instead of eyeliner. I don't really like eyeliner. But yeah, that is the Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Collection. I'm obsessed with it. It's totally worth the money in my opinion. Um, yeah. Slayed my life with that one. Um, so that about wraps it. Oh, no, no, there's one more. Just kidding, I lied. Okay, so you guys know. Uh, since moving here, I have discovered the glory that is actually going to Dry Bar, but I really love Dry Bar's products as well. Uh, so I decided to try, you guys all know about dry shampoo, you know, extends the life of your hairstyle. You know, you don't have to wash your hair as frequently. Washing your hair every day is not good for your hair. Um, but I personally find that when I don't 
When I just use dry shampoo, my ends get so dry, especially after a couple of days. And this, I've been loving this Detox Dry Conditioner. This is the only product I've seen like of its kind. And it's basically, uh, it softens your ends between washes so you don't get that like nasty, crispy, in between washes ends. Like dry shampoo, it's great for your roots and like drying the oil out of those. But if you get that on your ends, it's just like, but if you get that on your ends, it's just like sad. So this dry conditioner saves my ends and it smells amazing. So stack that, <laughs> instead of pre-workout stacks, now we have hair stacks, stack that with dry shampoo and you're good to go. All right, so that wraps it up for our current favorites video. If you guys like favorites videos, please give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment below. And also I just wanted to say a quick thank you for 30K subscribers. I noticed that the other day when I was just like, look, actually it was like over a week ago, but I haven't like, Okay, but, but I just wanna say thank you guys for 30,000 subscribers. It's really cool to me that like 30,000 of you enjoy the content that I put out and what I have to say and like my goofy personality. I know I'm like all over the place sometimes, but it's really cool having you guys, you know, join me on my journey through life. Um, so thank you for 30,000 subscribers. As soon as I saw it, I literally started jotting down ideas for the giveaway. So details on that will be coming soon as soon as I get it all put together. Um, hopefully there'll be some really great stuff in there. I'm trying my hardest. Um, and yeah, I am also really, really excited to just be getting more content out for you guys because life has been crazy for your girl, okay? So April, I wrapped up. Well, first of all, April I went to California. I also wrapped up a semester of school, so I was hella busy with finals and everything like that. And then I had a show, and then I moved to a whole new state. I've never moved before. I had another show, and like, I do have another show, but things are finally starting to calm down a little bit, and I'm just so, like, today especially, I've just felt so excited coming up with ideas for YouTube videos and just improving the quality of all my social media channels because I really do love interacting with you guys and I feel really blessed to have y'all in my corner and to have the encouragement that I do from you guys. So I have loved doing the Q and A's with Nick. I know you guys have as well. So we're trying to do some more collaborative content in the future. Um, I'm just trying to get more information out to you guys because that's what I love doing. Um, and again, like my life has been really busy, so some of this stuff had to kind of take a back burner with finals. Finals had to take priority, prep had to take priority, my actual job had to take priority, you know, my clients, all of that good stuff. And moving obviously is a huge time suck, but again, I'm starting to finally feel settled and I have some really exciting ideas for you guys. And, it's and as always, if you have any video requests, please leave them in the comment section. I do try to read every single comment. I can't always reply to every single comment, but I'm doing my best. And yeah, just thank you guys for joining me on this crazy ride. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next one. All right, love you so much. Bye.